Time to play with some clay. I'm asked all the time, what kind of clay do I use? Well, I use a JMAC clay, but I have used Chavant clay over the years. And uh, Chavant, about four or five years ago, <coughs> sent me uh, a sample box of their clay. Uh, I had met the uh, president and CEO of uh, Chavant at uh, Sculpture Depot in uh, Loveland, Colorado. And uh, we got to talking about stuff, and he said he'd send me a sample box of, a, of the clay, and I could review it if I thought I could do that. He, he t asked me if I'd review it, and I said, sure, I'll, I'll review it. And so it took me a while to figure out how I would review it, but then I finally figured it out. And like I said, I made this video about oh, four, five years ago, maybe four years ago. Um, and it, it, I go through each type of clay they had in the box. And, uh, well, I'll let you watch the video. And uh, just wanted to let you see this because I've gotten a lot of questions about it. And uh, Siobhan's a great clay, too. Uh, J-Max good. Uh, Siobhan's really good. Um, I've gotten used to J-Mac, and that's the only reason I use it now. But uh, for those of you who are thinking about sculpting and uh, want to know what kind of clay to get, uh, maybe this video will help. All right, let's get to the video. All right, I uh, started doing a review of the uh, Chavant clays last week, and then my external hard drive crashed on me and took all the videos that I shot uh, and uh, left them on the uh, unrecoverable external hard drive. So I'm going to redo the, uh, the clay review. You, you'll see that some of these clays have already been reviewed and in fact all the clays have been reviewed. And I've got uh, uh, where I tried the clay when it was cold and tried it when it was hot and uh, I gave it a score, but I'm going to redo it right now. And then I'll put it underneath this light, set the light down at a certain level, and uh, reheat them for a, a set period of time, uh, which will be probably about 10 minutes. Tried these cold like they are now, and this Labo Touche is really nicely soft even without heating it up and this plastiline prof professional plastiline um, same thing uh, just different color this is a little lighter red a little darker red I'm not gonna even bother doing the light test on these and uh, I just I just love this clay this uh, Siobhan, it's, it's what I originally started to uh, uh, sculpt with back in the uh, 60s was the red clay. So I'm going to put that one aside and uh, I'm going to try this one first. This is the uh, Chavant uh, Hard and uh, it's, it's pliable while it's hard so I would give that maybe a two or three as far as uh, softness before you soften it and then this is uh, that's the uh, clayette uh, hard and this is the clayette soft and this stuff is really nicely soft even before it's under the lamp but I'm going to go ahead and put it under the lamp and uh, set it for about 10 minutes and see how it works out all right, 10 minutes later, the uh, clay at hard, a lot softer. That might be a good one for uh, 
In fact, if it was under the light a little bit longer, I bet that would be uh, perfect. I like that. And I like the color. I like the uh, white. I, I like the red as well, but white shows deeper tones of shadowing. And when you're a shadow pusher like myself, uh, you want to have all the shadows possible. It's like drawing with a pencil. You want uh, all the shadowing you can get, and white uh, would certainly transfer that. I, I like both these clays right now. This one I would say was, I, I graded it as a, a little th a three. That's the clay at hard, and this is the clay at soft, and it really is soft. That's a five on that one. And I would say closer to a four uh, out of a five for the uh, clay at hard. I like that. I'm going to put that one aside. I think that's the one I may be ordering. I don't know. I think the soft is nice, but uh, I would rather have that for... The soft of the clay at uh, would be nice, but be better for a larger clay that I would be doing, like the monumental. All right, this is the clay at medium, and uh, the NSP uh, soft, non-sulfur uh, plastiline soft. I think that's what that stands for. Maybe I shouldn't interject that. Okay, I'm going to try out these two clays. This is the NSP soft, and this is the clay at hard, or medium. And uh, it's been, when I tried this before, it was very cold in this uh, house. Right now, it's 80 plus outside, and so it's a little warmer in the house, and uh, because of that, the clay's a little softer. So this clay at medium is, uh, and that's Fahrenheit, by the way, that's not uh, Celsius. <laughs> okay, uh, hard, soft, cold, okay. And uh, hard, soft, cold. Now, that's not bad just without a light. Let's put it under the light for 10 minutes, see what happens, and come back. All right, 10 minutes later, uh, the Clayette Medium and the NSP soft clay at medium wow that's nice I, I would give that a five after uh, out of five after it's been under the lamp and I had the lamp about two inches above the clay the swing arm lamp the uh, NSP soft is a nice clay I haven't run into a bad clay yet this I give this a five out of five and uh, the N NSP Soft and the uh, clay at medium, both of them get five out of five. All right, that's going to be set aside as clays possibly will order. Now, I've got a couple of, uh, let's see, auto style medium and auto style soft. And let's see, hard, they are hard. This one. Is soft but it's not and uh, that's medium now let's put it under the lamp for 10 minutes see what happens I'm gonna lower the lamp by the way so that uh, it's a little closer to the clay because that's the hardest clay I've run into <clears throat> full disclosure this is under the light a lot longer than 10 minutes and uh, ooh, wow hmm this is under the light probably about 15 minutes because I was on the phone and couldn't get away to uh, check it out. Anyway, this uh, auto styling uh, medium is not bad once it's heated up. And I remember last time I tried this, I tried it uh, under the light for 10 minutes and it didn't soften it up very much. So. I think it's probably a good thing I did this. The Chavant Auto Styling Soft gets really nice. Uh, and uh, it's extremely hard when it's cold. So if you're doing something that uh, 
uh, you, you want detail to stay in, I think either one of these would be good. Okay, we're going to move on to a different clay. I was sent these samples. Uh, Monumelt, medium, hard, and Monumelt soft. I'm going to start with soft. I'd say this is about a 3 out of 5 in hardness, soft, I mean cold. Uh, let's put it under the lamp for 10 minutes, see what happens. I'm going to put the uh, lamp about an inch and a half above uh, the clay, which is uh, a half inch further than I had been doing on the other ones. The Monumelt Soft. Oh yeah, that's... That works out nicely under the light. I would give it a, a, a four and a half out of five for softness under the light. Uh, inch and a quarter above it uh, for ten minutes. Monumelt soft. I, I'm telling you, I, I haven't really come across one of these clays from Chavant that's really bad. It's they're all great clays. They have all great touch to them. Very little smell. Actually, no smell. All right, let's go with medium. This next one, Monumelt uh, Medium. Um, I don't mind the gray color. It's uh, it, it's a good color. Um, you can see shadows. Uh, unlike wax where you can't really see much of anything uh, all these clays uh, are good all right this is the monumelt medium after 10 minutes oh this is great this is really nice okay he gets a five out of five uh, on my uh, softness under the light now this is a monument, and this is the last clay I'm going to be reviewing today. It's a monument hard, and I'm going to put it under the light uh, for 15 minutes, let's say. All right, it's been uh, 15 minutes under the light. It's uh, it's good. And I imagine even a half hour under a light, uh, this clay would be very good. So, um, a recommendation is get any of the clays. They all work fine and just depends on the uh, type of uh, product you're trying to sculpt. My final words on it is I think I'm going to get the, uh, the hard clayette. I like that uh, white or cream colored clay. Um, I, I guess when it comes right down to it, Chavant, who's been in the business of making clay since the 1890s, is uh, one of the top, the top uh, clay manufacturers for professional artists uh, in, in the world. And I know they've got uh, distributors all over the world. You just go to their website and you can Google it to find it. I'll put a link uh, to their test, their uh, website down below. But uh, I don't think you can get much better. Look at all the samples. I, I mean, I went through 15 different clays today and all of them are dynamite uh, for the use that you want and the color you want of the clay. And uh, so I'm going to tie this up and say goodnight and hope you uh, have a great evening. Bye-bye.